This morning, you're going to learn about zero and negative exponents. Okay, let's have first the zero exponents. So we have there any number excluding zero with an exponent of zero is equal to one. Okay, let's have the first example. So x raised to zero, this is equal to one. Okay, second example, 5 raised to 0, this is also equivalent to 1. Okay, third example, 2p raised to 0 is equal to 2. And p raised to 0 is 1. So, 2 times 1, that is 2. Okay, fourth example, negative k raised to 0. So, we have there a negative and k raised to 0 is 1, so a negative times 1, that is negative 1. Okay, fifth example, 7r raised to 0, y is equal to 7. r raised to 0 is 1, copy y, so 7 times 1 times y, that is 7y. Okay, now let's proceed to a negative exponent. So, if we want to make a negative exponent becomes positive, we simply get the reciprocal. So, let's have the given number 1, x raised to negative 3. So, this one here is found in the numerator. So, to make this positive, we simply bring this in the denominator and we make the exponent positive. So, therefore, this is over x cubed. So, what is in the numerator? So, we cannot put there 0. So, if we go back on our given, we all know that the numerical coefficient of x raised to negative 3 is 1. And so, therefore, we have there 1 in the numerator. Okay, so for number 1, x raised to negative 3 is the same as 1 over x cubed. Okay, let's have the second example x squared over x raised to negative 5. So again, if it is positive, we simply copy. We, no, we do not uh, get any more the reciprocal. Whereas x raised to negative 5, we bring this in the numerator and we make the exponent becomes positive. Okay, again, we all know that there is a numerical coefficient there which is 1. So therefore, we still have 1 in the denominator. Now let's simplify. So x squared times x raised to 5, that would give us x raised to the power of 7 over 1. Or in short, it's x raised to 7. Okay, let's have example number 3. So, quantity of 2x close quantity raised to negative 2 is equal to. So, here in number 3, we all know that this is found in the numerator. So, we know that there is over 1. So, therefore, if we want to get the reciprocal of this, this is simply 1 over 2x. This time, the exponent becomes positive. Now, let's simplify. So, this would become 1 over, so we distribute the exponent 2. So, we have there 2 squared multiplied to x squared. So, we have there 1 over 2 squared is 4 and x raised to 2, that is x squared. So, therefore, quantity of 2x close quantity raised to negative 2 is the same as 1 over 4x squared. Okay, let's have the fourth example. So, 5 raised to negative 3. So, this one it's just the same as 1 over 5 cubed. Now, let's simplify what is 5 cubed. So, this is 1 over 125. So, 5 raised to negative 3 is equivalent to 1 over 125. Okay, let's have the fifth example. So, we have there 2 cubed multiplied to 2 raised to negative 2 over 2 raised to 4. So, we have there 2 cubed is already positive. So, stay put on the numerator. And 2 raised to 4 is also positive. So, therefore, it is still found in the denominator. 
whereas the negative 2 is 2 raised to negative 2 is a negative exponent so therefore we are going to move this in the denominator so now let's simplify 2 cube that is equivalent to 8 over and 2 raised to 4 that is 16 and 2 squared that is 4 so simplify further so 8 over 16 times 4 that is 64 simplify what is 8 over 64 so that is 1 over 8 so therefore in number 5 we have there 1 over 8 so that's all for today i hope you've learned something about zero and negative exponents